Hello everybody. In this video today, I want to talk to you about uh, what you need to ask your dock equipment distributor when you're deciding on the correct, uh, the best rotating hook vehicle restraint to uh, install at your loading docks. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to think about is, um, does it have the features of auto re-engage and auto store? Okay, and auto re-engage just helps ensure that you've always got a safe engagement situation. Um, so basically, if anything uh, tries to interfere with the safe engagement, the hook is engaged with the trailer's rear impact guard. Uh, IDOC controls, for example, on um, McGuire TPR and Unilock restraints will recognize that something is trying to stop that safe engagement or separate the hook from the rig, and it will automatically refire the hook and automatically re-engage it. Auto store ensures that if a, a vehicle backs into your dock and there's no serviceable rear impact guard that the restraint can can um, can hook onto and hold, uh, IDOC controls will also sense that in the case of uh, McGuire TPR and Unilock and automatically store the hook so that the next trailer that backs in does not smash into it with a, with a rear impact guard. Uh, also, the next thing you wanna talk about with your distributor and make sure that, that, that your the rotating hook has is um, make sure it's designed to safely restrain container trailers because container trailers have a, a cover plate on the rear impact guard that oftentimes does not allow uh, a, a normal rotating hook restraint to safely uh, restrain that trailer. That cover plate does not allow that little lip on the end of the hook to safely to wrap around the, the rear impact guard and hold it. So oftentimes these kinds of trailers can actually just defeat just uh, really just defeat a rear, uh, uh, a normal rotating hook restraint. Um, but if you get one that is designed to safely restrain uh, container trailers that have cover plates in the rear impact guard, uh, it will have some kind of secondary locking mechanism on the hook or the housing or something like that. In the case of the Unilock, it's uh, secondary locking mechanisms on the on the hook and welded anchor points inside the inside the housing uh, that make sure that that um, a container trailer cannot. Uh, separate from the dock before the restraint is released. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your uh, rotating hook releases from rig wedge, which occurs when you have a normal a normal trailer uh, and it's in a safe engagement situation. But there's so much pressure from trailer creep or or um, you know normal loading unloading situations, or maybe an early departure attempt. Uh, there's so much pressure between the trailer's rear impact guard and the hook that when they want to drop the hook inside the dock, uh, when they want to store the hook, it just won't it won't store. So um, that's rig wedge with a, a restraint that's designed to to uh, to um, uh, eliminate rig wedge. Uh, the only one that can do that right now is is the is the um, the Unilock from McGuire. So uh, it does that by rotating off center and releasing the pressure, placing the hook uh, between the hook and the rear impact guard automatically. So uh, that's the Unilock. But in general, these are three questions, things you need to talk to your, your dock equipment distributor about uh, when you're considering which rotating hook restraint is the best for your situation. So until next time, please stay safe.